DC fans, this is JAR369. Welcome back for another brand new video review. Today I'll be taking a look at the DC Justice League Wonder Woman by Mattel. Now take a look at the packaging. You can see the window of the figure that is fully exposed the figure and the accessories. You see the mother box in the background here, Mattel logo there. And on the side here, top here, you get the Wonder Woman with different languages and also Justice League. And it's recommended for ages 3 plus. And we got the logos of the superheroes, DC logo. And on the back here, you get this image of of the figure and also you get other figures in line like Batman, Superman, and Aquaman. I probably did a review on this guy if you want to go ahead watch this video I'll put the um, eye icon here and I'm probably gonna find like the uh, Batman and Superman that came with the Steppenwolf figure so yeah so that's about it for the box now let's release Wonder Woman out of the box here we got Wonder Woman out of the box now take a look at the figure here let's remove her accessories now the likeness to Gal Gadot, let's just focus here, come on, I mean, the head scope, um, I don't clearly see Gal Gadot anywhere, I mean, it looks nothing like Gal Gadot, I mean, hey, for five bucks, I can't beat that, and also, you can see she is wearing her tiara on her, and also, you get the, um, now let's take a look at the outfit here. You can see the um, the blue skirt there, and also there's like a there's like a a scratch on that right here. You get the W logo right here for Wonder Woman. You get like the her armor there, and also you get the um these things. I have no idea. That is really painted in gold. See some of the gold on the eagle area here. And also, she does came with the the lasso of true, which is she um doesn't come off. And also, she does have like the um the gauntlets on her, which is I mean you can clearly see the straps on the gauntlets of the hands, and it's weird that you can see right here it says R two and and on the other one I believe this says L one probably just left and right yeah now the boots uh pretty much not much painted on here uh you can see some of the molded straps or something i mean there's nothing much painted on to it besides the gold and also there's pickles in the bottom of the feet i mean not much any um articulate i mean not much detail to it it just just a basic figure. I mean, hey, hey, what do you expect? This is not a multi-first figure. Now for articulation, her head can go not fully rotate because it's hindered by her hair. Arms go fully rotate and go forward and back, in and out. Then at the elbow, rotate at the elbow. Wrist can rotate, hinge. Waist can rotate, legs can go forward and back, bend at the knee, and that's about it. I mean, it's just a basic figure. What else expect for more articulation? I mean, she can barely do the um, do the um, Infinity Goblet. Nope, no, you can. Now for accessories, she does came with her. She does came with her sword here, nothing much painted on to it, just plain gray, all that stuff. She It does fit in her hand easily, like so. There we go. And also, she does came with her shield. You see there's a bird on, on here. I mean, it fits on like 
this and let's just put it on the figure here. There we go. And there we go. We got Wonder Woman ready to battle to defeat Steppenwolf. Now, overall, for this figure, I gotta be honest, I just, I think, I, I think it's not that very good figure at all. I mean, it's nowhere better than, I mean, it's nowhere better as the, um, Aquaman figure that I reviewed. And the, um, Cyborg, you know, the one with the two guns and without the helmet on. And also the one with the helmet on. I mean, it's not that good for a, um, this figure. I mean, there's the Batman v Superman one, the basic figures line. Well, the head scope on her looks really good, but the head scope on her, nah. So I'm going to rate this figure a, a 3 out of 10. Yeah, a 3 out of 10. I mean, if you guys seen this at your at your flea market for five dollars, yeah, probably worth the five dollars or maybe less. So that's about it. Make sure to tune in for new videos daily. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos after you subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both the links will be in the description down below. This is J A R three six nine, and goodbye.